but there are some people who just like to live life without kids. And so here we're doing four steps, isolate, cauterize, divide, and separate. Still working on my index finger as a bit of a platform I find very helpful. Cauterize the inside. You can hemi-transect the vas. I find it a little bit quicker to just make my entry site with some people press this together as though sealing the two ends. Again, he's not a good demonstration of an individual with a clingy sheath. He has a nice loose sheath. It's easy to bring, you can see the two. John, I think you can almost focus in on that. He's got the anterior sheath, the posterior wall of the sheath. Now I'm just bringing those together and then rotating back like this. Here I can see his, even his vas goes back. Now, I could have left that like that with that distance between the two ends, but I like to lower the failure rate by good end separation. And so sometimes I have to adjust the, because I like, it seems to really beg for a vas if the lower, if the abdominal end falls back in, it seems to beg for a clip rather, if the abdominal end sinks back in. And now I could put this hemoclip like this, but that wouldn't pull the sheath tightly around the testicular arm. So I think when you're applying either your suture or your hemoclip, you want to slide in close to the testicular arm so that the sheath is drawn around the testicular arm kind of tightly. And here you can see that that testicular arm can't fall back inside. We have at least two centimeters of end separation. And I really don't think that this thing could fail. This would shock me if this thing failed. Do I have to have sex? You do until